welcome back to the channel. Sorry I missed a week. Oopsie, that was my fault. I was on vacation with my girlfriend and her parents. We had a really good time. I went to the beach. Also had my best friend's wedding that I had to go to, which delayed the trip a little bit. So it was just kind of a really busy time and I didn't get a video out, so I apologize for that. However, we're back today we're making a video and uh, Dad has left me with a pretty long list of things he wants me to go check on because uh, Mom is having a stress test on her heart and he is there uh, with her today. So we've had a lot of rain in the past week or week and a half, um, a little over five inches, and the road is flooded down here, and the you know the ditches and stuff are up like I've showed you before. Um, but it doesn't really look like we have much damage from it, except for maybe the the extremely late planted rice, the stuff we planted right at the end. Um, just a couple videos ago or maybe one video ago I can't remember um, that stuff is gonna maybe be a little bit damaged from being underwater so long but it'll probably be all right everything else looks really beautiful to be honest and it's been flooded up with a lot of free water so you can't really beat that so anyway I'm here at the shop I'm about to go get on the Ranger and then we're gonna head out and do a bunch of scouting and looking and figuring out for dad and I'm going to take you along and uh, show you what in the world is going on, and we'll go from there. So, uh, peace out. We'll see you later. All right, got a little sidetracked with a tractor project we got going in the shop. But we're getting going now. we got the Ranger heading out. Dad's got me a bit of a list, and he wanted me to call him, but he didn't answer. So, we'll see what else he has uh, as far as as we go. But I'm going to head down here and start looking at a couple of things, and I'll take you along and show you what we're looking at as we go. So, get going. All right, we've made it to number one on the list. This pipe here has been problematic because the water came up on this side, which is actually the gravel road, but it floods really bad uh, when it rains a lot and that was sending water back into the field, which we didn't want. And so dad patched it up here with the backhoe, I'll show you. So dad put a, uh, he dug it out, packed some dirt in it. We're probably just gonna take this pipe out because we don't really actually need it anymore, but it was causing a lot of problems with this. So he wanted me to make sure now that the water wasn't running back out of the field into the road because he's already put fertilizer and sprayed this one. Um, so that's kind of you got to be careful because you don't want too much water and then you don't want your water coming off when you get it for free like that with a rain so um, he wanted me to check that this morning these fields are looking better they've been really waterlogged they've been underwater several different times just because of all the rain we've had uh, but they're really coming along now and looking good it, it gives me hope that um, pretty much the whole crop is gonna look really nice I'm gonna show you some more fields uh, as we go along that are really pretty and then we'll get to some more things on the list We made it to uh, number two on the list here. I stole dad's boots. Gotta buy me some. Oops, sorry dad. Not really. It'll be alright. Alright, this is our next uh, next thing to check. I'm about to show you. All right, this is Yamada that was water seeded. Let's see, it was while I was gone, um, almost two weeks ago. It'd be two weeks Monday. Today's Friday, so uh, it got rained on a whole lot right after we planted it, and the water got deeper than we wanted. Even though we wanted water for the water seeding, uh, it added, I mean, a lot, a lot more water. 
And then the field didn't have drainage. So we brought a tractor up here, which is right up there, and uh, put a pump off relift in it. And we've been pumping it off ever since, trying to get the water down so that the rice could kind of see some sunlight and not stretch too much and, and get a good established hold on the ground. So dad wanted me to check and see if it was time to turn the pump off. And even though I told him you could see some dirt out here, and you can in places, but it's still uh, uh, pretty pretty flooded. So I think we'll leave the pump running at least for the rest of the day and try to get this water down so the rice can get a good root. Now the other thing I see out here is a ton of aquatic weeds. Um, so that's going to be something that we need to address. I'll show you with the camera here. And you can also see that the leaves of the rice have stretched trying to get to the top of the water. And now the leaves are kind of laying on, on the top. And that's what we don't want. We don't want those leaves to stick to the ground. However, we do want the roots to get a little air so that they can get a good establishment so that it doesn't continue to try to float um, as it gets older. So you can see how that's, I mean, for being not quite two weeks old, that's too tall, and so it's getting long and spindly and trying to grow up out of the water. And that makes it weaker, see how it wants to lean. However, if we get the water down and we get these roots right here, some air and some sun, it'll establish and uh, this will heal up no problem, it's no real big deal. And like I said, this is Yamada Nishiki, it's uh, sake rice, so it's also uh, just a little different than the other stuff we're we're growing so it has a little bit different tendencies but um, it's looking fine it looks good it's gonna be totally okay but as you can see there's a lot of other weeds and stuff in here and so we're gonna need to get that addressed pretty quick too all that stuff is stuff you don't want but we can take care of that the rice is looking okay and we're going to get the water on down and then we'll uh, start addressing the other problems. Water first, weed second. That's how we're pumping the water off of this field for now. Alright, so next on my list was to look at these fields back here and uh, see about the water depth so Dad can uh, can spray them or get them sprayed with the plane. And um, these fields have been really too deep in water the past several weeks just because of all the rain we've had, but um, we just kind of been holding what we can and getting rid of what we can. And they're, they're still flooded pretty deep, but it looks to me like he can spray them without any trouble and without hurting anything. So I think I'm going to recommend that he does that. But um, that's what I'm doing, just walking around out here, kind of checking the water depth and uh, seeing what I think so that I can relay that information to Dad and he can get some chemical going. So this water is actually quite a bit deeper, definitely too deep. You can see how far up the plant it is, or I think you can. I mean, it's right right here on the plant. Well, that didn't work. It's all the way up here, which is way too much water, really. So that's why it looks a little more spindly out here and thin, but it'll thicken up once we get the water down and get it fertilized and sprayed. But that's what I'm out here looking for and it is what it is. At least these fields aren't underwater. Could be worse. All 
All right, so as you can see, this is some of our less glamorous looking stuff. Uh, it's gonna be okay, it just has a lot of aquatic stuff in it, which is fairly easy to kill. Um, so he's just waiting to get the water down to a good point where he, the, you know, the rice can handle the chemical and so that all this stuff is out of the water enough to really kill good. So um, I'm just looking at that, looking at the depth. I'll pull some of this stuff up and show you what it is. But uh, overall, I think these are on a good level to spray, except for that one we just looked at that was kind of deep. And uh, so that's what I'm going to tell Dad, and then hopefully we'll go from there. Not exactly what you want in your rice, but it's handleable. All right, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what this later planted rice looks like that we had. Uh, we planted this more or less right before the bigger rain started coming, and it did. It was able to come up um, without being underwater, so that's good. Most of the plants are there; they're up. They're just kind of beat up for being underwater for so long. So I just wanted to pan around here and show you what that looks like before we head up and maybe uh, take the drone up and look at some of the stuff that's really pretty that we planted first off. So you can see it looks a lot thinner, but uh, I do believe it's gonna be okay. Just need some time, some air, some sunlight, and then uh, eventually some fertilizer. All right, before we get the drone up in the air, I want to uh, walk out here in some of this stuff we planted first off and just show you how pretty it is. All right, it feels like just yesterday I was out here showing you how these fields were just sprouting and coming up, but look at this. These suckers are tall and healthy and beautiful. They got a good, nice root system on them. Nice dark color. It's beautiful out here. The, the rows are shading in. You can barely see the drill rows anymore. Uh, got plenty of water on them from the rain. Haven't had to pump much on them at all. Uh, it's just really, really beautiful. Can't, uh, can't complain. dad's list uh, I did some other stuff took some drone video hope you guys enjoy that fields are looking beautiful uh, probably the best they've looked in a long time so we're crossing our fingers that everything stays just the way it is and we can make a really good crop this year um, so I think I'm gonna go home and eat lunch and then I may run to town with Alex for the afternoon but just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride this morning and uh, show you what was going on so peace out see you later see you in the next video thank you for sticking around